Hello, welcome to another video on your YouTube channel, Tech Talk with Nikit. In this video, we're going to look at formatting in Tableau. You can format the content that you have created on Tableau at various levels. You can format the font that is there, the size, color, and the type of the font. You can also modify the alignment. You want to center align it or align it vertically. You can make those changes. You can add background colors or row banding by using shading. You can also add beautiful borders to make your view presentable. And along with that, you can also make changes to the lines. Let's see how we can do it in tab. I have created a simple text table over here and I can modify it by increasing the width of this table. And to do that, I will hover on the edge of the table. I'll get this horizontal double headed arrow and I can increase it something like this. I can do the same activity for the rows that are there in this manner. In case if you want to fit your view for the entire screen, all you have to do is go to the toolbar over here. You have standard, click on the downward arrow and you can change it according to your wish. Something like if I want to do it for entire view, I'll click over here and I have it for the entire view. Right now, I don't need it. So I'll just keep it as standard so that you can view the changes that I have performed. Now, what if I want to format it at different levels, the levels that we just saw? To do that, I'll go to format in the menu bar and I have all these options. I will start with font. The moment I click on font on the left hand side, there is a format font window where you can change the font. You can change it for the entire worksheet over here by default. I can increase the darkness, something like this for the entire worksheet. And I can also increase the text size. I would prefer 11 in this manner. It looks good. You can change the font for pain. Now observe this, what will pain is. I'll click over here and I'll click on this color. You see? these values got changed. So this is how you can change the color of the pane. Talking about headers, I'll click over here and I'll click on this to show you how headers will change. Or maybe in form of blue, I can also modify tooltip. So when you hover on these numbers, you get a small box. Those are our tooltips. And I can change that by clicking over here and I will make it into, let's say, italics. Now when I hover, you can see the values are in it italics. I can also modify the title and say I want to have title and bold and underline. I can do that. You can also make modification to the total and grand total. Right now I don't have it. So I'll add a total over here, a grand total. I'll click over here and I'll add a column grand total in this matter. Now I can change the font. Say I want them to be gray nor brown like this along with that the header also to be brown in this manner so you can do it for the total and same you can do it for grand total as well in case if you want to make changes to individual rows you can do that as well or specific rows you can do that as well like over here when i change the header to this color observe what is changing so these are the headers which got changed and same can go with columns. Come over here. I'll modify the color for columns like this. You see, these values got changed. So in this manner, you can modify the text that is there. Now about alignment. I can make changes to the alignment. I can make changes to the pane. I can have it like center aligned, left aligned, or right aligned. But as I'm working on data, which is showing the numbers, I would prefer a right align over here. And same will apply for the header. I can change it to center, right, or left. I prefer left over here in this condition. And for rows, you can do the same activity. So say if it is header, you want to do it center line, you can do it like this. And you see this, the region name, they all are on the left hand side. I want them to be center. So I'll click over here and I'll make them as center in this manner. Looks much better. You can also add background color by going to the shading. And this is the place where you can play with the colors. 
I'll click over here and modify the background color to something like this. Please note, I'm showing this so that you can understand the impact of whatever selection that I'm doing. I'm not saying that these are the color code that you always should go ahead with. This is just an example, just a demo about different options that are there. I can make color changes for the paint, something like this. But right now I'll not do it. I'll keep it as none for now. I'll tell you later why. And I can also make changes to the header in this manner. You see, when I change header, what all values are getting changed. I'll keep it as none for now. Similarly, you can do it for total and grand total. This is something which is very useful when you want to highlight the totals in this manner. You can do it. And also the header like this. Interesting. Now, you see a table can be big vertically and horizontally as well. And now when you have a table which is horizontally big, it becomes difficult for you to traverse through the row. And that's when row banding comes into picture. Like in this example that you see right now, if I have it something like this, and if I ask you to tell me the sales for paper for West region, there is a good possibility that you might end up reading a, a value one above or below. So to avoid that, you have row banding. And I'll add a small banding over here using which you can easily read the values that are there. And also you can change the level. Right now, it is at subcategory level. I can change it to category level as well. But I would, I'll prefer to have it at subcategory level for now. And you can do the same activity for column as well, something like this. So you can have it in this manner. But for now, I'll avoid it. Similarly, you can do color coding for rows and for columns as well. Now, let's look at the borders and let's add some border over here. I'll start with adding a dark shade of border, a little light, something like this, at, for every cell that is there. And now you can see you have different panes and they are not divided. So I'll use this pane to perform the activity in this manner. And I'll also do it for the headers like this. Now over here, the color is different for all these columns and rows that are getting divided. So for that, you have row divider and column divider. I'll do it in this manner. I'll do the same activity for column. Looks much better, isn't it? And you can do the same activity for rows and you can do the same activity for column. I'll just change the background color because the headers over here, they are of similar shade. So I'll just go over here and I'll change the background color to say something like blue. Okay. Like this. Next, we have line. Right now, we don't have any chart for which you need access. So I'll just make a modification to this chart. I'll right click over here and I'll duplicate this chart. And for the duplicated one, I'll just remove region and make it into a bar chart, something like this. I will fit it for the entire view. And now I can make changes to this chart. Like say, if I want to add grid line over here, so I can do that by going to grid line and adding some grid lines in this manner. You see this? It adds a lot of value. It, it adds a lot of content to your view. I'm not saying that this is the right way to do it because at times you might find a lot of noise over here in terms of all these boxes. But when you have data which requires precise pointing out the value, over there you will need these grid lines. You can also add zero line over here in this manner. Similarly, you can do it for the trend line, the reference line, drop line, and access. So all the line related changes that you want to perform, you can do it over here under format line. And same goes for rows and columns. Now here's an interesting thing. What if you want to modify it for the entire workbook? So for that, you just go to format in the menu bar and you have the workbook option. When I click over here, on the left hand side, I have all these options where I can modify and make changes for the entire workbook. Like this, I don't have to go to each and every worksheet and make changes over there 
for the content that is there. This is a quicker and a smarter way of doing it for the entire work. A quick question. What if I've created this sheet and I've formatted it and I want to copy this format to other sheets? Why don't you write the answer in the comment section and share it with me? So in this manner, you can format whatever views that you have created in tab. I hope you liked this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Till then, stay safe and happy learning.